Capricorn, my darling. Hi, how are you? Welcome back into Robin's Realm Readings and welcome in if you're in for the first time. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what we have going on between now and the first of the year. We have Capricorn, Wisdom, the Owl Spirit. Wow, good for you. We also have Freedom, the Eagle Spirit. Two birds. And then we have the Dragon of Power. Hold on while I look those up for you. So this one here is the um, is Wisdom. And she's in, there's a lot of red in there. That's, you know, red is your color, right? It's one of your colors, a deep, deep carnelian orange red. Uh, like fire. <clears throat> Trust in your ability to see the deepest truth in situations and in people. Wisdom is growing within you in mysterious ways beyond your awareness. <clears throat> it's a good time to sign up for inspirational courses. Messages from spirit are all around you. Look for them and trust what you feel. Wisdom. That's number 27. Two is making that divine connection. Seven is the higher connection, the divine. And you add them together and you have abundance of wisdom. You ask for it and it comes freely. You just sit and receive it. Okay? The eagle spirit is um, freedom. And 13 is the death card in tarot. And sometimes you have to put something, let something transform let it die so it can transform. It's, it's very much the idea of the um, Capricorn, like the like the butterfly. You know, the caterpillar, you know, manges on like a half a tree, and then he, he locks up and starts going into goo and then transforms into this fantastic butterfly. And that might be your secret power. Let's see what it says. Um, Mm, let's see. Incredible vitality, life force, energy, and passion are expanding in your life, Capricorn. And if you start to feel drained by the expectations of others, don't hold back. Ignite your inner fire. Speak your truth. Let the light of the creator surge through you. Yes. And then power. And that's master number 11. There's a princess and there's a dragon looking after her. That so reminds me of you guys. Let's see what it says. Within you dwells the remarkable power to manifest your dreams, gain great riches, and activate ancient wisdom. Take back your power and express your strength through grace. Wow. Wow, you guys, that's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's see what Tarot says to you about your reading. Okay, guys, let's look. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, calling on the energies of air, fire, water, earth, ether, Holy Spirit, my, my holy guides, your holy guides, and the Lord to, to clarify what's going on for you. First rule of them now. Seek the face of the divine. Seek God's face. Seek the truth. Speak the truth. Be the truth. That's your freedom. One more from a wonderful Capricorn. The light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. And the presence of God watches over you. Where you are, God is. That is a Reiki, Reiki prayer of protection. Tell me what's going on with this wisdom card. Okay, we have nine of pentacles and we have the moon. Now, this nine of pentacles came out in reverse. I have to straighten it out. Let me explain to you something, Capricorn. Someone you know is acting like they're married. They're not married. They're faking it. They're playing right in front of your eyes, right in front of your eyes. They're acting like they're not married or that they're not abundant. And they're keeping a secret. This could be a cancer 
that you're dealing with. And they're acting like they haven't got a dime to their name. They haven't got anything. They're single. They're keeping secrets. The moon represents hidden things, right? The dream state. What is it? What is this person doing? They're holding back greedily. I told you they're acting single, but they're be they're acting like they're poor, but they have money. Uh, do they have money to spend? Yes, spirit says yes. They are holding back. Uh, Archangel Michael said, "Yep, yeah, look at that." So there, uh, th this is a fire sign, possibly that is doing this shit to you, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, pretending like they're not, they're not pretending like they're single, keeping it from you, um, here to take from you, greedy, and the Holy Spirit says yes. Here's the deal about this, okay? This person, their intention is to take from you. Use incredible wisdom here because you don't have to put up with that. And if you're wondering who this is in your personal life, please reach out and I'd be happy to do a personal reading for you. Okay? Or you can join the channel for $2.99 a month and support the channel. Keep it here through all these wonky changes. And um, visit with me when I'm live. Make sure you hit that notification bell and hit the all bell, okay? No, you have to, here you go. Ten of Cups in reverse, they were trying to take away your joy. You have to use great wisdom to protect your joy. All right? Join the channel for $2.99 and you get many readings. I, I'm live every Saturday. Right now through the holidays, I'm very overworked and I'm tired. So bear with me. Um, wow. Your freedom is in, the, in your own hands. It's in your own heart, right? Your freedom is in your heart. Seven of Cups represents you and your higher power making a decision and then you're being judged by your heart. But you have to use your head because you got someone wicked over here trying to get in your space or trying to get something from you or hold you up or cause you some kind of a burden. That is the truth. Somebody's life. Please hit the like button if that resonates. It definitely does. Holy Spirit says it definitely does. Tell me, Eagle Spirit, Freedom, Seven of Cups, Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? King of Cups. Living in your highest heart space. Maybe choosing a beautiful water sign. Yep. And getting a start with a water sign here. Um, and that is the Ace of Wands, and that means new energy. That means new starts, new um, movement in your life, right? Passion. Could also represent a, the, the phallic symbol, the, ma the male wand, male or female. By the way, these readings are not gender specific. So it could represent the male phallic. Oh, lovers. Oh, she's an Eight of Pentacles. <gasps> Yeah, you better protect, you better use wisdom because you got somebody wonderful coming your way. This per oh my God. It's a soulmate. Freedom. Eight of Pentacles. Hard work. They want to put in the hard work. This person will put in the hard work. They're not just a dick like this one. This one is, they're uh, probably very, if they're a male and you're into males, they're probably well endowed is what I'm hearing. I could be wrong. I'm not thinking those things, but it does come up. Capricorn, let's talk about your power for the end, till the end of the year. What does this represent to Capricorn? What do they need to know, please? But that gummit. Oh, look at that. Three of Cups. The power is in your hands. This is the um, this is enjoying yourself, celebrating, enjoying having fun, right? You know, making a toast to the holidays, right? What else does this represent to my Capricorns, please? Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. fantastic. Somebody is coming your way to celebrate with you. Yep, and they're going to make an offer to you, and you're like, well, Dad, gone. I waited forever for this love offer, and here it is. A very nice, nurturing soul. Um, could be a queen of swords. Don't be stuck in your head. You have to have some fun, right? All right. 
And fun isn't just hopping into bed with somebody. High Priestess. So, yeah, look at this, man. Look at this. High Priestess comes out. This is somebody that's highly intuitive and they're comfortable in their own skin. They trust themselves. They don't walk wobble around playing head games with people they are your soulmate and they will be coming in if they haven't come in already you got to get freedom from that okay because you have beautiful love here ace of cups ace of wands two of cups high priestesses don't tell anybody when they come in don't tell anybody especially your friends traitor treacherous jealous friends what a waste of time right Give me a love message for my beautiful Capricorns at this time. Worth waiting for? That's an understatement. And make the effort. Definitely. They're on top of this, aren't they? They really are listening to you. My beautiful Capricorns, what do the angels want to say now? Tell me what Capricorns angels want to say to them. Angel answer deck. Come on. Capricorn. Remain positive. What else for Capricorn? Oh, that one went quiet. Romance. An opportunity for romance. I'm not joking. Wow. And look at here. Freedom, wisdom, freedom, power, and recovery. You have to recover from this narcissist, whoever that is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we have for you. I think it's interesting. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you really do want to support and qualify for free readings, full readings, I give three a month to, uh, I draw names from all my Patreon members. Um, and they all have a chance to win a free reading, even if you just donate a small amount. It doesn't matter. You're helping me stay alive in my business. And that is the truth um, at this time. And I really appreciate that. And don't forget to go to my spiritual bath store on my website. Oh, my God. I have beautiful spiritual bath products you'll love. There's still time to order things for Christmas. Um, I just have to uh, check my supply. But definitely, you can go to my Etsy shop and you can get yourself a spiritual bath set. Attract Love and Abundance is for attracting love to yourself and it's fantastic everybody just loves it so much it comes with a blessing and um a, a blessing capricorn let's see if i have it it says um it comes with a blessing has a divine feminine i'll give you an example of what it is i'll show you what it is one minute Ooh, Christmas is taking it out of me now. Yeah, this is it. This is what you get with your Divine Feminine box, your Goddess box. Attract Love and Abundance kit. Okay, crystals, bath salt sprays. It says, um, I am calling in my divinely guided love and unlimited abundance and supply from the Most High. What I want wants me and you repeat this often and watch everything changes for you so that's what i have darlings i thank you for your presence and namaste capricorn be sure to hit that like button why not only did this relate to somebody maybe not all of you um some of it might just take what you need and leave the rest capricorn but also, those who do the most thumbs up on my videos will immediately after the series, I will calculate. And those who did like it the most will be getting a free reading, another one that'll play off of this one. So we can look a little deeper. And at the same time, most of the other signs will be getting a little quick, short reading, right? Here and there. But you guys will get a full reading if you hit it enough, okay? You brought me up one time. I think I, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of you guys. I don't know where y'all went. But I love you, love you, and hope the best for you. Namaste, Capricorn.